I don't like that gray and artsy bit that I I never really considered myself a creative. In school, I didn't particularly enjoy art or music. I preferred to go play sports. I liked things that were black and white. I was much more, and still am, quite analytical. I don't like that gray and artsy bit that I thought creative people were. I saw myself as an athlete and an academic, not a creative. That is how I categorized myself. And for a long time, it was through this lens that I viewed the world. But then I was introduced to this idea of YouTube. The idea that I could create videos. And this creative side of me that never seemed to be there before came bursting forth through this new medium. All of a sudden, a kid who could never create started to create. And the possibilities within my mind just started spreading and spreading. I would lay awake at night thinking, wow, what could I do with this? What could I do with these newfound possibilities? So with this enthusiasm, I started making videos. I committed. I bought all the right equipment, a camera, a microphone, a tripod. I said, this is it. I'm going after this. I'm going to be a YouTuber. <laughs> oh, the glories, I thought. I would never have to work another day in my life. I would just travel and make videos and oh man, that was the dream. That was the dream I sought. But that dream had consequences. I began to dread the process. Something that once filled me with life now began to take my vitality. I found myself procrastinating not wanting to edit or plan or shoot. I told myself it would be more fun tomorrow. This was not right. So I stopped. I took a breath and reflected on it. Something had gone amiss. My dream was all messed up. My dream took a process I enjoyed and sought it to create an end that I thought would make me more content than I already am. I started to create not for the enjoyment of it, but for the seeking of a, this utopian state that I thought would just bring me to another level of happiness. The dream killed the joy. How ironic it is that we take what we have and seek to use it to gain what is already attained. As humans, I think one of the most incredible gifts we've been given is to be able to create. In a matter of hours, something came from nothing. What once was literally non-existent became an idea. And that idea through the use of tools and technology came into existence. And through it, a story can be told, emotions can be moved, lives can be changed. This to me is utterly magnificent. This is why I create. For the creatives out there, seeking, seeking, seeking. Stop, breathe, remember, the journey is the end.